West Virginians are familiar with the controversy surrounding many of the safety devices that have currently been introduced into mines. But today we're going to look at some of the oldest and simplest safety devices, and that's the gear that miners wear or carry into the mines. The safety director of Preston Energy is with us today, Harvey Brooks. And Harvey, got a lot of gear here. Let's start with your overalls and tell me what you've got. All right, the first thing that uh, most of us wear in the mines are these coveralls. Now, these are a polyester-type material. They're re resistant to battery acid and coal acids and so forth. And also, with the coveralls, we wear leg bands to keep them tight around the ankles so they won't get caught in any machinery or equipment. And also, we all wear safety-toed boots. These either can be rubber or leather. This, these happen to be rubber, and they have a steel toe that would, prevents me from having an accident like a tool drops on my foot or a piece of equipment hits me or something like that. And another uh, very important piece of equipment, one of the most essential, is the mine belt or the leather belt which we carry most of our equipment on in the mines. Now this belt carries the light which is very essential to me and this is the battery for the light. This is good for approximately 12 hours uh, of underground use. And After 12 hours what? Is it well then we recharge it. We put it on charge at the mines and, and charge it uh, for approximately 12 hours. All, it has a beam, a spotlight, or a floodlight and it can spot quite a distance when it's fully charged. I'll put the belt on. Now, one of the other pieces of equipment that's very essential to a miner or a safety director or a mine foreman is this piece of equipment here. It's called a permissible flame safety lamp. This lamp uh, originally was used years ago in the mines as a lighting device for the men, men to dig coal with. But uh, in the past few years, it's been used primarily to detect methane or oxygen deficiency. Uh, a miner trained with this lamp can detect 1% uh, of methane uh, in the mines, or he can detect the presence of oxygen deficiency, which we're very conscious of in the mines. One of the newer pieces of equipment that's come out in the past few years is this is called a methane detector, and this works on a battery. It doesn't have the flame that this actually has. This just does it by uh, reading the amount of atmosphere. This measures methane in atmosphere up through 5%. This is called a, a methane spotter. And you can use this in the mines, in the face area of the mines where the men are actually working. And uh, you have to check for gas every two hours in the mines. And the equipment operators check every 20 minutes. Uh -huh. If there were 5% methane in the mine, what would you do? Would you still be there? Well, I have, to, yeah, I have to take the men out and shut the power off and take corrective action to remove the methane percentages in the atmosphere. One of the uh, most essential pieces of equipment that we have is called the self-rescuer. Now, this uh, came out just a few recently in the past few years, and it's a very essential piece of equipment. It's mandatory that every man that goes underground and woman has to carry uh, one of these self-rescuers. Now these are designed in the event of a mine fire. Uh, in a lot of heavy smoke concentration, a man can take this off and it fits over his face like a mask and he can go for one hour in a heavy concentration of carbon monoxide. Uh, very briefly how it works, it has a chemical in it called hopcolite and it, it changes the carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide and the man can get to fresh air or get out of the mines in approximately an hour. Another piece of equipment that every miner has to wear is, is a, a pair of safety glasses. Now, there are different types. This is one type here. There are other types that have elastic bands on them, but these are designed like normal glasses. And most men carry them in their pocket, or some men carry them on their hat. Now, this is the hat. Uh, they're all basically the same. Some are different colors. Uh, this is a high-impact plastic and it has a suspension system in it, much like uh, football helmets or any other type of helmet. Now this is to protect the miner in the event of a rock falling from the roof or a piece of coal coming down and hitting him on the head. And this will protect him from uh, a relatively large piece. And you put the hat on, and then you attach your light to the hat. And 
Another piece of equipment that's essential in the mines are the gloves. Uh, you can use rubber type or a cloth type. If you're working around electrical equipment, you use rubber type, or in water, you should wear rubber type gloves. And that's basically the most of the equipment except for one thing. Oh, what's that? My lunch bucket. Oh. I have to have that to go in the mines. Okay, very good. You look pretty well equipped. 